Welcome back to Lux Fluent. Today, we are reflecting on the life of Queen Elizabeth II, whose passing has left a lasting mark on history. Join us as we explore her incredible legacy of luxury and charitable work. Remember to subscribe to Lux Fluent for more exclusive content and stories of influential lives. Queen Elizabeth II, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary, April 21st, 1926, September 8th, 2022, was a remarkable figure in modern history, serving as the Queen of the United Kingdom and various Commonwealth realms from February 6th, 1952 until her passing. Her reign spanned an impressive 70 years and 214 days, making it the longest of any British monarch and the second longest of any sovereign ruler globally. Throughout her life, Elizabeth II was a queen regnant of 32 sovereign states and retained her position as monarch of 15 realms at her death. Her unprecedented tenure reflects a period of extraordinary change and continuity, witnessing shifts in politics, technology, and society. Buckingham Palace Buckingham Palace, the iconic heart of British royalty, epitomizes regal splendor. With its 775 rooms, 52 of which are royal and guest bedrooms, 78 bathrooms, and 92 offices, the palace is a marvel of architecture and history. It has been Queen Elizabeth II's official residence since 1936, following her father's ascension to the throne. Beyond its role as a residence, Buckingham Palace is a bustling center of royal life. It hosts a range of significant events, from grand state banquets and receptions to intimate garden parties. The palace welcomes over 50,000 visitors annually and serves as the venue for key ceremonies, including investitures and meetings with foreign dignitaries. The Queen's weekly audiences with the Prime Minister and her reception of newly appointed foreign ambassadors further underscore Buckingham Palace's vital role in the UK's constitutional monarchy. Its continued operation as a working building and ceremonial hub highlights its ongoing importance in both national and international affairs. Royal Wardrobe Queen Elizabeth's wardrobe was more than just a collection of clothes. It was a testament to her royal status and impeccable taste. Her outfits, often crafted by celebrated designers like Norman Hartnell and Hardy Amys, were known for their elegance and sophistication. The Queen had a knack for selecting bold, vibrant colors that became her signature style. Over the decades, she sported designs from iconic British brands such as Burberry and Barber, frequently re-wearing favorite pieces which contributed to her iconic look. Despite her tendency to repeat outfits, she maintained a high standard, ensuring each garment was a reflection of her commitment to public service. While Queen Elizabeth's attire was a staple of her public appearances, she typically only wore an outfit a few times before it was either redesigned or reserved for private occasions. Unlike Kate Middleton, who is known for repeating outfits, the Queen's wardrobe was a carefully curated display of her enduring sense of style and dedication. Jewelry Collection Queen Elizabeth II's jewelry collection is truly extraordinary, featuring some of the world's most remarkable pieces. Among her collection, the Imperial State Crown stands out with its dazzling array of 2,868 diamonds. The Cullinan Diamond, the largest gem quality rough diamond ever discovered, also highlights her impressive assortment. This collection, which includes both royal and personal jewels, is distinct from the crown jewels and the royal collection. The origins of this distinct collection date back to the 16th century, with many pieces acquired through historical events, like civil wars, coups, and as gifts from foreign dignitaries. Most of the jewels were added during the 19th and 20th century, while the crown jewels, including St. Edward's crown and the Imperial State crown, are reserved for coronations and the state opening of Parliament. Queen Elizabeth II frequently adorned herself with her personal jewelry at formal events. These jewels, rich in history and craftsmanship, reflected her unique style and the grandeur of her reign. Royal Transportation Queen Elizabeth II, often dubbed the Million Mile Queen, holds the record for the most traveled head of state. Throughout her 70-year reign, she journeyed to over 100 countries with more than 200 visits to Commonwealth nations alone. Her frequent trips included over 20 visits to Canada, 16 to Australia, and 10 to New Zealand. Her travels were complemented by a remarkable collection of vehicles. 
post-war, she favored British-made cars with an assortment that included the Rover P5B, Vauxhall Cresta Estate, and a Jaguar X-Type wagon. Rolls-Royce and Bentley were also represented in her fleet, including the very first Bentley Bentayga. However, her true automotive passion lay with Land Rover. The Queen's affection for Defenders and Range Rovers is well documented. She was often seen in specially modified royal versions during tours and used them personally on her estates. Her transportation was always fit for royalty, featuring custom-built Bentleys, Rolls Royces, and the iconic Gold State Coach used for coronations. Private Residences In addition to Buckingham Palace, Queen Elizabeth II enjoyed several other private estates, each rich in history and surrounded by stunning scenery. These include Windsor Castle, Balmoral Castle, and Sandringham House. Windsor Castle, the oldest and largest inhabited castle in the world, along with Buckingham Palace, is owned by the reigning monarch as part of their royal duties. In contrast, Balmoral Castle and Sandringham House are personally owned by the Queen, meaning they are not funded by public money. Balmoral Castle, nestled in the Scottish Highlands, was a favorite summer retreat for the Queen. It was not only a place of relaxation, but also a site of significant royal events, including the Queen's final moments in September 2022. Sandringham House, while not a permanent residence, was traditionally used by the royal family during Christmas and New Year. It was also the backdrop for Queen Elizabeth II's first televised Christmas message in 1957, marking a significant moment in royal broadcasting history. Royal Events and Banquets Queen Elizabeth II's state banquets and royal events were the epitome of grandeur and sophistication. These elaborate affairs featured multi-course meals prepared by top chefs, served on exquisite gold and silverware, and accompanied by the finest wines. Each banquet was a stunning display of luxury, from the sparkling chandeliers to the meticulously set tables. State banquets are hosted during state visits. Formal visits from foreign heads of state designed to strengthen international relations. These high-profile events are not just about sumptuous dining, they also provide a glimpse into the intricate world of diplomacy and tradition. Guests, who include monarchs, presidents, and prime ministers, often stayed at Buckingham Palace or, occasionally, Windsor Castle. Queen Elizabeth II hosted over 150 heads of state throughout her reign. The process of organizing a state visit involves careful planning by both the Foreign and Commonwealth Office and the Royal Household. The visit typically includes various engagements, such as meetings with government officials and leaders from various sectors. The highlight of the visit is usually the state banquet, which hosts around 170 guests on the first evening, setting the stage for a memorable and formal celebration of international camaraderie. Given the historical events and milestones during Queen Elizabeth II's reign, which moment do you think defined her legacy the most? Drop your thoughts and reflections in the comments. We'd love to hear what you think. Philanthropy and Influence Despite her life of opulence, Queen Elizabeth II was deeply committed to philanthropy and public service. She supported more than 600 charities, embodying stability and continuity for the nation. As royal patron or president, she had connections with over 500 charities, professional organizations, and public service groups, ranging from global charities to local initiatives. Her steadfast support for these causes made her a powerful role model. By championing charity and volunteering, the Queen inspired many to contribute positively to society, fostering a culture of generosity and civic duty. Her legacy in the charitable sector is significant, reflecting her influence on promoting social good and community spirit. Reflecting on key moments in her reign, Queen Elizabeth II's leadership continued a tradition rooted in the history of the monarchy. Notable events included the restoration of Protestantism in England and the defeat of the Spanish Armada. Known as the Virgin Queen, she remained devoted to her kingdom amidst numerous conspiracies and challenges. Queen Elizabeth II's unwavering sense of duty and responsibility characterized her leadership. Her commitment to prioritizing her country and people exemplified effective leadership and dedication to her role, setting a high standard for public service and governance. 
We hope you found Queen Elizabeth II's remarkable life as captivating as we did. Her influence on both the world of luxury and philanthropy continues to be felt. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exclusive content from LuxFluent. Get fluent, stay fluent.